Keith, you've got a swimming, swinging brick instead of a heart if you didn't feel a bit of emotion at the end there. Yeah, so, um, as a, a fitting end to the season, the last away game uh, as manager, I think the support that we had, the support the, uh, the supporters that gave the support to the team, excellent uh, application, desire, character from the players, uh, willingness uh, to continue uh, their development excellent and then let's say uh, to get a win away from home uh, a fitting end to uh, what's been a very very uh, enjoyable uh, managerial time spent at Carlisle. Banners of a nice kind, songs that were fantastic again what's that like for you to hear? Yeah it's, uh, it means a lot it's, um, it, it's, it's not easy to um, to leave a football club that you've uh, that you've put a lot of time, effort, brought people into the football club uh, that have again uh, have embodied uh, my thoughts, my aspirations, uh, and my desires. Uh, and again, uh, I think I brought all, uh, all but one of the uh, one of the players uh, to, to the football club, uh, and they've all bought into the philosophy of what we're trying to do, which is improve, develop, and have an upward spiral. Uh, and again, a massive thank you to the players and the staff uh, that have helped create that. And then uh, when I say that, I mean the staff at the football club as well that um, uh, have adjusted to some of the changes adjusted to a different personality uh, and uh, a different personality that comes in with different demands and different standards uh, and different ideas of the, uh, of the way certain things should be done and it's not easy for people and I take that on board but there's, uh, there's been a lot of backing and a lot of support uh, along the way to help me create the environment uh, that allows the players to go and be expressive uh, in a pres- uh, professional manner If you could have written a script two goals second half in front of the OA fans coming from behind to, to get a victory that's the way you'd have written it yeah um, I, th- I think it was important that, that, that again that we showed that, you know at two games to go we can't get in, you can't get into the uh, into the playoffs but there was still pride passion desire uh, and a will- willingness to learn and, uh, and adapt uh, to the circumstances within the game I thought we started the game playing well uh, still lacked that uh, that final penetration into the final third and also then I thought we lacked that willingness to, to get bodies and people into the box the uh, second half uh, change of shape change of personnel but there was still desire glad to see Luke Joyce getting forward Mike Jones getting forward uh, uh, excellent finish from, uh, from Ashley Nanderson and again if you're going to say make a substitution as an impact on the game uh, arguably you say um, that Hallam Hope's in, uh, introduction excellent that was the difference we looked like scoring in the second half yeah, I think we had that forward impetus. Yeah. Again, we, we had it in the first half. We, uh, we wanted to come when we, uh, we thought we could cause some problems with, with, with the possession. What we didn't do then was, uh, and we worked the ball well, played through lines, got people in personnel, and then sometimes we came back through when we could have ex- exploited it. And then sometimes our final ball uh, was the wrong decision or the wrong, uh, the wrong option was taken. But again, that's part of the development um, that we see. You know, we don't chastise people for, for making errors, uh, but getting people into the right areas, and then we can build on the quality. Two very different goals. Fantastic finish from Ashley and a team goal for, for Hallam yeah very much so and again we, we needed that forward and we needed that quality in the final third uh, when uh, when we when we needed it in the second half two, uh, two bits uh, of individual and team the quality uh, results you know, we can score goals what will it mean to Ashley to get a goal like that yeah um, it, again part of Ashley's development is He's spent 45 minutes playing up front uh, as a single striker that, that, that I know he can do. He's made some, some good runs, uh, didn't give him enough to work with uh, in the second half. But again, likewise, he can play in the two. He, the lad can also play in a three as well. We groaned out loud when Hallam pulled up. Too early to say, but not nice to say. No, uh, it was touch and go whether uh, uh, how much we gave him uh, in the game. Uh, ideally, like you say, you know, if we cut it down to five minutes. But again, but it shows he came on with, uh, with no fear in his play. Uh, just... Uh, a reoccurrence of, of a hamstring unfortunately it can happen uh, but again, uh, it shows the, the lads desperate to be involved at the end of the season nothing really to play for in, in terms of uh, reaching the playoffs but the, the character that's in the changing room is that people want to be involved and people want to be around me uh, and people want to be in that changing room playing and I think that's part of the, the work myself, Colin Lee, uh, Lee Dykes, uh, Dan Watson uh, have, have created uh, we put demands on people you must be extremely proud in the performance the lads are putting because people call it a dead rubber when it gets to this stage of the season, but they didn't treat it like that. Again, I think uh, I've said it before and I said it in the interview uh, yesterday, I think it was. I'm proud to be the manager uh, and proud of the demands uh, that I put on people. Um, and I think, uh, pleasingly, is the response that, that I've had from the players, the character that's in that changing room. Um, it, is, is, is pleasing to work with and it's in a good environment for, for not only for me to work in but also for, for them. We showed you the tweet before kick-off about 
the fact that he only had one goalkeeper, typical Keith Curley, only goals with a keep, one keeper away from home. What can you tell us about the Louis Gray situation? Um, well, again, I don't, I don't think there's anything that ne- ne- needs to be said. Uh, Lou, Lou, Lou's gone back to Everton. Um, the decision to put one, one goal on the bench was uh, for, for us to win the game today. I thought we needed goals. Um, and uh, having an option of another attacking player uh, on the bench is something that I went for. And team selection wise, leaving players like Reg- Reggie Lama, that shows what you can do with, with this squad. Yeah, again, I, I think you know, the quality of, 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 that Reggie has, the, the ability that he has, uh, and again, today was an option um, that, that went for the width and the pace. Uh, it might be now that, that Reggie comes back into, into the thinking uh, for next week. Next week, very much about saying goodbye. You'll be looking for more of the same. Well, well again, yeah, I know it'd be an emotional day for a lot of people, but first and foremost, it's a game of football, and there's an opportunity for myself as a manager to represent the football club, and also that the, the team have got an opportunity to put a shirt on and be representative of themselves and put in a performance that they're happy with. Um, and again, there still be uh, there still be will be demands. Uh, it won't be a carnival atmosphere, and uh, it won't be an emotional atmosphere until the, the final whistle. Um, first and foremost, I think there has to be. Uh, a game played that we walk out of the game um, with pride in our performance individually and collectively. And looking more and more like a top 10 finish, not too bad. Again, well, again, uh, building blocks, foundations, uh, pillars, uh, they've taken a lot of time uh, to get put in, uh, to, uh, to be put in place. And again, uh, that shows the, the hard work that goes on putting those in place. You know, they're done for a reason. Uh, you know, we don't just turn you know, performances on and off. Uh, if you have those foundations, yeah, right, this season you could say arguably we've had a few too many draws, but uh, we've been very competitive and we've created chances. Thanks for your time.